In this video, we're going to be using Ariane and Evans, the Peony and Serpent, and the Gillette Black Beauty Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. We are using Ariane and Evans, the Peony and Serpent. And honestly, it would sound better if it said the Serpent and Peony, I think. That's just me. I think David Gonzalez mentioned that as well. This comes to you from Ariane and Evans or the Shaving Shop Club for under $5 an ounce, which is a fair price on our cost chart there. It is definitely a very good quality soap. This is in the Kaizen 2E base. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Very, very easy to work with, which is always a pleasure. When you have a soap that gives you a super creamy lather easily, I'll show you a lather shot right there. That's one of the things about a &E. He really knows how to make a soap that's easy to work with and generates a super creamy lather. The scent on this one, I'm gonna put those notes for you on the screen right there. Some of the notes, saffron, cashmere, carnation, uh, peony, white pepper. I get mostly a floral vibe. So for me, it's not my favorite sort of scent. It is not unpleasant. It's a pleasant scent, but it's a little for me, perhaps on the feminine side, because it's mostly floral. floral. This is the type of soap I think someone like Marion would like because he tends to favor uh, florals and stuff like that. But for me, this one is not a huge win. It is pleasant, it is nice, but it's not one that grabs hold of me because it's just a little more floral than I would like personally. However, we expect the quality to be great and we expect to get a great shave with it today. The razor for today is the Gillette uh, Slang term for it, Black Beauty, also known as Super Adjustable. This one is the short-handled version. I also have a longer-handled version, and we'll be using setting 9, which you can see the paint has worn off this one, but it's a nice, mild, easy-going sort of razor. I've always preferred the Fat Boy or Slim to this one, but every now and then I use it, and uh, the blade in there, by the way, is Gillette Nasset. Let's get into it today, and a couple of notes while we're misting, and this is just plain water. I'll link all the products below, by the way. Uh, a couple of notes. Friday, this coming Friday, will be Real Talk, and it will be on So Sharp David's uh, Instagram account. Account. Real Talk is moving to his Instagram account, and then Shave Talk, of course, will be on my Instagram account. So I hope you'll join us for that. We're going to be joined by Nate and Mel, and that should be a lot of fun. We should just have a good time and just sort of shoot the breeze, and I hope to see you there 8 p.m. Uh, Friday this coming. All right, let's get into some lathering here because this is what we're after, getting this awesome lather on the face and getting a nice shave, getting a nice shave in. All right, let's go. As you can see there, creamy goodness, creamy goodness. Now, I want to I want to reiterate something once again. I know a lot of people, I get messages all the time. My lather isn't coming out as creamy as yours on video. And my question is normally how are the shaves going? And they'll say, oh, the shaves are going great. And I'm like, you're doing it right then. Don't worry about it, folks. Honestly, the real way to measure the quality of a lather is not the way it looks, although you can tell certain things about a lather. I mean, you can tell this is a nice lather by the sheen on it. But the real way to measure, or the best way to measure the quality of the lather is how are your shaves going? Are they smooth? Are you getting a bunch of nicks and cuts? Or are they smooth and nice and your skin's feeling great afterwards? If the answer is they're really good shaves, then your lather is just fine. You don't need to worry about a thing. Because I know a lot of new people struggle early on with making a picturesque lather. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If you want to sort of make one for personal pride or what have you, that's great. And, and you can work towards that. But trust me, you don't have to have it looking super sheeny to get a good result. As long as you have hydration in there and you get adequate coverage, you're going to do fine. Now, I will say, a soap like Ariane and Evans makes it easier to get a creamy lather with. And, and that's always a plus, but don't beat yourself up over it, folks. There's a lot of new people here, and I am really, really happy to have you, and I want you to know that you are doing just fine. So stick with it, and over time, you will get it, believe me. Don't beat yourself up over not having a picturesque lather. Okay, 
let's get to shaving today. And I think most of the Gillette um, vintage adjustable razors are on the mild side. You do get some blade feel on this one, but it's not super aggressive even. And I've got it, you know, turned all the way up, which is typically where I would put the uh, vintage Gillette razors. Because I find them to still be in the mild, maybe entry level at medium at best in terms of blade feel or efficiency but they are good razors and they have stood the test of time and i've been pulling them out uh, recently i think don the navy goat sent me this one so don if you're watching thank you i appreciate this don sent me a bunch of vintage razors years ago and it was really a, quite a timely thing because i stupidly i bought a bunch of bunch of vintage razors to start off with and then i thought i didn't enjoy them um, and it was just me being an amateur, quite frankly. And Don was kind enough to send me a bunch of them, and I have kept them, and I will always keep them. Because they're a treasured gift from a, a friend. Don, so thank you very much. But anyway, folks, like I said the other day, if, so, if, if a razor doesn't work for you, and especially if you're new, if you're new and a razor it doesn't seem to be working well for you, Hang on to it, revisit it six months, nine months, and see what happens. Things change. As you develop your technique, you will, you will learn that you can use more uh, razors in a more effective manner. So what your preferences very well may change. And as you acquire knowledge and skill, things change. So just hold on to those razors. If they don't feel right, to set it to the side because believe me otherwise you'll be doing what I did which was the dumbest thing possible and you get rid of razors prematurely and then you end up revisiting and going oh man that's a good razor and I wasn't a very good shaver that's what it comes down to and shaving is not rocket science it's just a matter of finding the things that work best for you and understanding and developing knowledge and experience that's really all it comes down to so if everything is going well right now with the gear that you have if you're newer. Stick with it, continue to build that level of experience and knowledge and, and things will get better over time and you'll be able to try different things and maybe revisit things that you didn't like at first. So keep that in mind, that's for you new folks. And again, welcome. And thank you to all the folks who've been watching for a long time as well. I really appreciate you also. I know we say a lot of things over and over, but they're important things to be said. And we always wanna be keeping that uh, you know, the, the teaching as much as I can possibly do going and just helping as much as we can with people who, who are struggling. Because believe, believe me, folks, right now there's someone watching this video and they're like, man, my shaves just aren't coming along. I'm new and I thought this was going to be an overnight thing and they're just, it's a little rough. Somebody's watching right now that's having that experience. And for you, the person who's watching it, stick with it. Stick with it. Let your face rest if you have a rough shave. You know, don't complete, don't continually punish your face. If you have a rough, rough shave, give it a couple of days off if you can and just stick with it. You will eventually get to the point where it's easy and you will master it, believe me. Everybody can do it. That's one of the really nice things about traditional shaving as a hobby is everyone can participate um, and you don't have to be super skilled to do it you will develop the required skill over time. So yes, you, the person who's struggling today, you'll be okay, trust me, stick with us. And you'll be glad you did when at a certain point something will click and all of a sudden you'll be getting gray shades and you're like, hey, what happened? It's what happened to me. The first few weeks were just, they were not good. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing despite watching a bunch of videos because everybody you see on video normally makes it look easy. And it is easy, but it's easy once you have the experience. That's really what it comes down to. But when you first start, it's, it's uncharted territory, you know. And it's really like anything else. Um, traditional shaving takes a little bit of time. It's different from cart shaving. They've designed carts to be as safe as possible and easy to use. And they are easy to use, but... They also are problematic for a lot of people and create a lot of problems. So that's why people are looking to escape them. And typically what happens with cart razors are people use the blades too long because they're very expensive. And then they move over to traditional shaving where the blades are not expensive, but there is a bit of learning curve. And so that's the struggle. 
But have no fear, you will get it. Stick with it, stick with it, you'll get it. Let me re-lather this side for a quick cross pass. And the soap here is really, really good quality, excellent quality. The scent, again, I would call this a more feminine scent. It is pretty floral, um, and I would say I like it, it's pleasant, but I do not love it. Um, and so for me, you know, this one is just a little more floral that I, that, than I personally like, but it is not a bad scent. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, some scents, when I smell them, they're off-putting. Like, so for me to give a score on our rapid reviews, and by the way, if you haven't been checking them out, please check those out because I think those are really good. For me to give a scent a really low score, it would have to be what I consider to be a bad or offensive scent. One that's like, whoo, you know. And most scents aren't that way, fortunately. So this is not an offensive scent whatsoever. But it's a little bit floral for me. A little, little too floral. And I thought the other elements, patchouli, sandalwood, saffron, might tone the floral down a little bit. But it's still pretty floral to my nose. So this one is certainly not one that I'm crazy about, but it's also not bad. So it's pleasant, but probably not one that I would definitely not use an aftershave or EDP in this particular scent because it's way too floral for me. But um, on the same token, it's not unpleasant. And the quality is fantastic. There's no doubt that Pete from A&E knows what he's doing when it comes to making soaps. He just has a knack for making an easy to use, exceptional soap. And so this one, although for me today, it's not, uh, it's not what I would consider to be a huge win on scent. The soap itself is excellent. And if you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club, the price is pretty doggone good too. It's definitely in the fair range, which that is not bad at all, considering the quality of the soap. Let's uh, go ahead and relather that real quick. quick. I am tongue twisted today. <laughs> of course, I'm tongue twisted every day. What's new? You know, nothing new there. But uh, really good soap here today, for sure. So if you find yourself liking floral scents, you may love this. This may be your jam. You may get all up in it and go, ooh, this is a good scent. But for me, it's like, oh, no, no. Not offensive, though. Like when I smell, you know, and we don't want to keep beating up the same scents over and over. But when I smell dirt type scents or funk type scents, they're off-putting. Those would be the ones that I would give like a one or a two. But a scent like this, it's quite pleasant, but it's not one I would want to wear around. It's not one that I would want to extend beyond the shave. And honestly, it's not one that I would use um, a ton because I just prefer something a little bit different profile-wise. So that's something to consider. However, I do think there will be people who like the scent a lot. So if you dig florals, then this might be your jam. So keep that in mind and uh, give it a look. The quality is certainly on point. At this point, I don't think you have anything to worry about from um, Ariana and Evans when it comes to quality. And quite frankly, with any of the reputable soap makers, you're rarely gonna have a quality problem to be very honest with you. So you're in good hands. These people know what they're doing. They're making fine products. All right, let's get this little patch right here. And that has been a really nice shape. Let me rinse and then we will come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera did a warm water rinse to get rid of the soap and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no staining after applying the alum, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, scrapers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave indeed. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then we toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by Witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. So we had a very nice shave today with Ariana and Evans, the Peony and Serpent. And uh, by the way, I forgot to mention scent strength on this solidly in the medium range. If you like sweeter type florals, you very well may like this soap. If you are versed to florals and you hate um, sweet florals, this might not be for you at all. So it's pleasant for me, but not a huge winner. Um, definitely not off-putting or offensive, but a little too floral for my taste. But the quality, top rate as always from Ariana and Evans.
We had a great shave also today with our Gillette Black Beauty or super adjustable vintage razor and the blade was Nasset, no problem there. We used our Ariana and Evans synthetic brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish things off today with uh, Ariana and Evans Mimosa and Melon. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this scent because this one is fantastic. So I'm definitely gonna put some of that on and I'm gonna be enjoying this scent. Oh man, what a beautiful scent Melon and Mimosa is. And let, let me tell you something else. You guys are beautiful too. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.